Action. Welcome to the show. My name is Nanaya Reddy. This is the Music Congo Podcast. Like I told you guys, every time I write an article about music, I, 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 I think that I should just add a visual, a visual part to it so that you guys can enjoy it properly. So this morning, between the hours of 4 a.m. to 5 a.m., I wrote an article about Sarkodia and the headline read, Sarkodia No Pressure Album Cover Review Plus Guess Game on How It Will Sound. Welcome to the show once again and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Like I always say, if I don't say it better, Tilly says it's more better for us on one play. This is One Play Africa's Music Combo Podcast, guys. I got you real quick and then we can just go back to our daily lives. Let me just share some wisdom with you. Comment below if you think I was wrong. Comment below if you think I'm right. Let me know what you think. You can also do your videos, share with me. I am Nanayao18 on Instagram and Twitter and I'll respond to you guys. I got you every time. Now, listen, guys. I don't know if you guys have seen the Sarkodie album cover. Uh, I like it. <laughs> I like it. I like. It. I like it. You know. I like it. I like it. I like the album cover because the album cover signifies rich life. In case you don't know, Sarkodie's album cover is a sample from Jay Z's Reasonable Doubt album cover and Blueprint. Check it out, guys. If you see Jay-Z's Reasonable Doubt album cover and you see Jay-Z's Blueprint album cover, it tells you the thinking behind Sarkodie's No Pressure album cover. Album covers are so important to an artist because it gives you an idea of the sound you are about to listen to, the state of mind of the artist. Do you hear that? The sound you are about to listen to, the state of mind of the artist, and where the artist wants to go in his next direction. That's what album covers covers that. So for instance, Blueprint, people say it's one of Jay-Z's best album because it, it gave us a certain Jay-Z that we hadn't experienced for a minute. The same for Reasonable Doubt. So when you see the Jay-Z Reasonable Doubt cover where he was all suited up with his cigar, you know what I'm talking about guys. Yeah, Charlie, we need cigar. Cigar are for people or a certain class of people in society who identify with richness. Um, they are the people that can tell you that I'm living good. Mostly they are the guys that play golf in between the hours of 8 to 12. Right? Whilst we are on the sun looking for money. He didn't play golf. He didn't play golf. As a matter of fact, cigar signifies richness because you see Michael Jordan, the all-star world time best basketball player, Michael Jordan. Yes, Jordan himself. Every time he touches the golf stick, he's always seen holding a cigar. <laughs> So I understand you, I, I've read a few comments about Sarkodie's album art because they're saying, oh, this album art, this album art, this album art, this album art, this album art. Listen, when he released the album art, he's, he's going to hold Siga in a couple of social media videos, like the behind the scenes with him and um, uh, Kutiata for Coachella, right? We saw Sarkodie holding a Siga, right? So the No Pressure album, it's, listen to this carefully, right? So you see Sarkodie did the highest. You saw the album cover, right? He did Alpha. He used Red for Alpha, signifying boldness and readiness to take over. Listen to me carefully. Go and watch the highest where he gave you Titi on his chest to signify the fact that he's come as a father to do what he wants to do. Now he has his daughter, so I'm coming to do what I love to do. Now, transcend through the journey of Sarkodie's career and picture him Holding a cigar. So from Rapaholic album, right? Bring it down. Look at the album covers. It's a story telling you of a, a rapper's journey of where he's going. So where is Sakode now? Sakode is now about to show you the rich life. He's about to take us on a journey of how to believe that if you're a young boy from Tema, from Dakoma, from Fadama, you can hold a cigar. It's possible, guys. Like, he's about to tell you that, listen, you can be in, in a Lamborghini with a bad bitch. He, he's, he's telling you that, listen, it's possible to wear the original filler without buying the fake because it's possible to go through life and become successful. Where we come from, if a man moves from a kiosk to a single room, he's made it. But Sack is saying that we can go to the single room, but let's go for the cigar. Let's play golf at 12, at 8 a.m. when people are going to the office. Let's live a stress-free life. Let's relax and do what we love. And you see, this word is funny. Like, me and I are right now, 
it's if some 50 million 50 million dollar hit my account i will change one play you come to a head headquarters you go run away the glass in corner glass in corner so we will, we will not have stress of salaries and things and you go see the magic now when people are comfortable to do what they love to do they do it differently than when they are in a hustle listen guys listen to me the Saturday album album cover it's it's, it's a typical example um, it's showing us his stage in position in life right now that i am comfortable and i'm about to do what i love to do so maybe he said it in illuminati that obako grammy but now jindi maybe he said it in a freestyle on team to say obako grammy now jindi but for him to be able to get to that level he needs a certain bit of comfortability and i feel that this is where we are right now do you get it so the album cover makes sense you see there's the chair that he sits on the, 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 that that so sack has a line that he said yeah that is what bosses do you get it like he has a line that he wraps it that he will pause and say yeah that is what bosses do that chair was the line that he was referring to in that record that chair that when you enter a certain big man's office and it says sit inside we show him two times and send a watching him because Charlie your boss's chair that's what that's what he was trying to say you get it and you see the positioning if sack had worn a full bladder suit or a full suit tuxedo head to toe it would have been a direct from the original that he picked from so i like the way he blended the, the shirt to signify the father listen you can be a young guy you know young guys wear shirts and wear they take off their their, their suit the top and they keep the shirt on and they tack in with the tuxedo down and they are nice shoe to signify that actually they are corporate boys but they are still gangsters they are corporate boys but they can have fun and that's what he did like a young guy on a journey sailing smooth he's going and he's comfortable why should he come and rush you don't sack has always been the guy i, I always tell people that listen you, you don't need to shout i am rich you, you, you need to show i am rich when you, when you see sack on the now that's what he that's what he does so when you say oh yeah pepe oh ben you know yeah someone must be a pepe but is it what um is it what um the names he was mentioning no forget it right you see the names he was mentioning like the designer you see also a bit of the channel said louis vuitton said then i said no 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 i wear red small or something you know what i mean no pressure bro trust me the album cover speaks deep let's go into the songs what are we looking for what is going to happen with the sound if i take no forget right so i wrote some 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 points in the article hmm Nicholas, am I on time? Am I on time? Am I on time? Am I on time? Now, if you look at the album cover, the album cover also, also signifies leader in rap music. Because, you see, Jay-Z used those times to establish himself as the leader of rap music in the world. Check Reasonable Doubt's album. The sound on there. Blueprint. The sound on there. It will tell you that, Charlie certain line of thinking you see when an artist begins to understand the business of music they approach it differently remember your album cover ember dear grow because may your album cover not to explain the sound you're about to hear so the sound coming from no pressure album will sound like this forget hasta la vista forget that record forget it but the sound is that is coming a sarcodia who is relaxed and telling you his current life story he's not saying the stories or he will not be saying the stories to look like he's being arrogant but he's saying it to inspire the next tema boy who is in community nine who is walking from one studio to the other hoping that he also gets to sacrodius level that's the sound that will be coming and the song titles that will be coming will also reflect the current thinking of the artist his current perception, his current exposure in life. So I'm not surprised that I saw Coachella as a second single. Nah, I wasn't at all. Because you see, the titles of the first, the first title, No Fugazi. Charlie, guys, be, be, be real with me. Did you, did you ever think Sack would do a song called No Fugazi? Come on, man. You were expecting some, you know, like his usual, right? On one couple, on couple, Penjamin should be. I don't know video to it today, but you see, the the ace of spade nation is a fuller. I said, son, this not the sound, bro. And you see, I know your bone come on because I said, Charlie, yo, sack man, you 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 drip. I said, bro, no forget it, bro. 
no fugazi in this corner, Charlie. Drip! You know, because you see, Sack is in London and the whole grill, grill company can move their, their office to his house. His exposure is different now. And that's what, that's, that's the kind of titling you're about to experience. You, yes, we might be, I am expecting some local names, some local, some three titles in there. But I'm also expecting a certain title that will be able to log him in into playlists automatically. Listen, Sack travels around the world. He knows that the kind of music that breaks countries. People are saying that song titles are important. I hear he's supposed to be in English. Rap or no, any English. He understands all that. He travels more than everybody in this country. As a musician, he's gone everywhere. So this album, I'm, I am expecting that from where he's coming from, I'll be here, I'll be experiencing a lot, a lot of these english titles that can easily log him into playlists without him having to do any integration right so i i, I am expecting that now will will we get a street soccer there on this album even though he's saying no pressure oh yes i i i anticipate three street records you know why when you are when you are under no pressure there are people in the rap game who will think that you've lost your rap credibility. And therefore, you need to pinch them again to say, hey, don't try. Like, wavy. Don't try. You see, every time a rapper like Sarko, they will do quick one. And it's not a song. It's just to remind you that, hey, if you try the rap thing, I will finish you. He will do a song on Joey B's code and, and give you a certain hook that you would never expect. You know, I better go and get it. Rappers always, rappers who are comfortable, like Jay-Z, will do a feature on Khaled's record, Sorry, Not Sorry, and remind you that even though I'm doing the business now, I still have the bars. Don't try. No, don't try. So his literature, his, 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 his literature on the album will be a bit higher than what he's, what, what he's been doing. But I expect three or four hustle tracks that will let rappers know that Hey, if you try this guy again, nah, nah, murder. No wonder that Lacon, BBN um, winner, Big Brother Niger winner, was once upon a time trying to understand what Sakura was saying. Because see, when you watch that show on, on the female show on, on, on One Play Africa on YouTube, you understand the literature that Sakura does in his music, the wordplay and the similes that comes into play every time he's putting it together. Like all rappers do, I, I can keep telling you, all rappers do. They have records that will remind you that, hey, if you listen to King's Disease, Nas, yes, it's all flat, it's all good, but he will tell you that, hey, bro, I still got it. Don't joke. You feel me? Like, Nicki Minaj will come back, and then his, her first song, he's coming hard, because she wants you to know that when you knock on my dog, bah, 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 I'm responding. Like, Drake will do all the trendy songs. Drake will do everything. Yeah, but if you take Drake's album, there are records on there that are street records that will remind you that yo bro i got it if you take kendrick lemur's album then you have your commercial song you have your loyalty and you are enjoying but he will use dna to say bro i still got it in my dna don't try so i, I anticipate three hustle or four hustle tracks from sack on this album on this album so that the boys will not think that he's coming that he's coming to joke finally guys finally yeah there's something that I want you guys to pay attention to. The theme of the cover art. Look at the color grading of the cover art. Go and Google the colors for rich or richness. And you will see the pattern and the thinking that went into the streets for Sarkozy's album cover. Will the album be the greatest of all time when he releases it against highest, against alpha? Sarkozy's best album is Mary. Don't argue that. Don't try. No, no, don't do that. Please don't do that. Don't try. I know you're typing. Don't type. Don't type. Missy Man type. Ah, don't type. Sakwana's best album so far is Mary. I'm telling you. It's Mary. Ooh, the productions. Aquaba is a genius. I'll say, Namin Shramo. That was beautiful. I think this album, this album will make a statement, but the next after this one will be the biggest of all Sakwana's albums. Trust me. Once he's able to establish that he's comfortable, and now the Grammys that you people are saying it's not possible. The collabos that you are saying it's not possible. You know, once upon a time, Kobiche and uh, what's his name, Posiji, had a conversation and they went viral that Sarkozy had, had worked with somebody bigger than Jay-Z. I don't know if you guys uh, remember, right? <laughs> you guys know, right? It's coming, bro. It's coming. I have a feeling. I have a good feeling. Normally, when an album 
drops, I'm able to do a read because I've listened to the song. Now I have to play the guessing game. It's beautiful to play a guessing game with this with Sakodia's album coming. It's 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 it's, 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 it's no for gazing. It's Coachella. It's Coachella, bro. It's Coachella. And I and I know that a lot of Sakodia fans, not to insult anybody, but a, a lot of us who are lay Sakodia fans who normally would love to hear him go hard on his bars and on his chi. I'm sorry guys, we are not going to get that through this, throughout this album. We are going to get Sakode telling us to wake up every morning and go and achieve big, bigger, bigger dreams. We are, we are going to get him say stuff that we are not used to so that we can also learn something new. You get it? So when you hear the album and you are not, maybe you are not linking it too much to your normal life because it's not your everyday life. Look at it from the other part of the glass that says that, why don't I also try to be in a Lamborghini with a bad bitch. Poverty is not a good thing, bro. When you see car, you see so gentle. When you see car, it's a speed between the fuller. It's exposure, perception about life changes. God bless you for watching. Drop your comments below. My name is Nanaya Redo. This is Anticipating Sarkodias No Pressure album. A review of his cover art. Like I said, look at the theme for the cover art, the color grading of the cover art, and Google. You see, if you go to Google, type colors for rich people. When you see them, do the comparison. You understand the thinking that went into it. It's not a show off. Anybody that will say Sakura is showing off, you are allowed to say that because uh, we, are, we are in a part of the world where if you are rich and you say you are rich, it's a problem. If you don't say you are rich too, it's a problem. So <laughs> I don't have a problem with those who say Sakura is showing off. But I, 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 I anticipate some very good album. It might not be the album that will get him to cross borders. I think the next one after this one will, will do that. Trust me, because for the sound that I'm hearing so far, oof. Guys, wait, yeah, Charlie. Charlie and the team. Charlie, sack or this, sack, sack, yo. It's coming. You guys should wait for it. Yeah? It's coming. Coachella is out. Guys, go get it. Love the beautiful record. Yes, I, I won't talk about the sampling. Oh, I mean, I won't talk about it. I've already done, done that on the Ready Share album. You know my, my, my stake on, on sampling. Sampling is not wrong in music. As a matter of fact, all your big artists, let me tell you a story, right? So DJ Khaled sampled a song from Diddy, and Diddy didn't even know he sampled his record. Check it. You think I'm lying? DJ Khaled sampled Diddy's record. Do you know that? Do you mind? It's a sample. Do you know also that DJ Khaled has a song that has um, August Alsina and all these guys? Da, da, da. It's a sample. You guys should play it, right? Sampling, sampling music is not wrong. So anybody that says sampling music is wrong, guys, you are not my friend. You are not my audience. You are not my, you are not my fan because sampling music is not wrong. And when you sample, you are not a thief because Drake and everybody samples music. Some sample melody, some sample lyrics. As a matter of fact, Kanye has done it so many times and he's the world's most powerful artist. Artist, And we all, some of us actually worship Kanye. Not, not literally, but we do worship Kanye. I'm a huge Kanye West fan. So I, I know what I'm saying. So God bless you for watching. No pressure over here. Nah, no pressure. And here in this corner, no fugazi. Don't bring any fake thing to me. I, I don't like it. I don't fuck with it. Guys, let's go check out Coachella. See you. Bye.